What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and we have a brand new Stellar Dynasty hero in Gemstone Legends. It is Gemini, and is this the healer we've all been waiting for? I think so, and I'm going to share why. Let's dive in. But first, download Gemstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff, including a bonus hero. All right, so spoiler alert, I think Gemini is a hero I have been waiting a long time for in Gemstone Legends. So I am definitely going to be summoning for this one at the end. I have a few Astral Scrolls I've saved up for this one. But let's talk about just why she is so powerful. Um, so taking a look at the basic stats here, you can see, of course, the uh, HP is very inflated there. Um, so very tough here, especially the defense there looks really good too. The attack doesn't matter all that much. Um, but the speed, as usual, for Stellar Dynasty Hero, very high at 246. Uh, and that can only get faster, of course, depending on what kinds of equipment you can put on. Um, and then the mana gain, as is typical of Stellar Dynasty Heroes, is lower. And that's because, well, every single gem can give her mana. <laughs> so... Uh, we don't want them to be overpowered with having too much mana gain there. She is a defensive leader of uh, all allies in guild-related battles, and that's going to increase their defense by 38%. Um, not one of the leader abilities I typically go after, so you probably have plenty of heroes at this point you can um, put at leader, unless you're really doing a defensive build, but most of the time you want that leader ability to probably be speed. Okay, let's take a look at the active skill here resurrects all allies with 15 percent max hp and 10 mana what i don't even need to go further and you probably don't need to even hear me tell you that when it starts out saying resurrects all allies this is going to be a good hero and you want to maximize the stats we just talked about the hp and the defense to keep her alive in fact before I even read the rest of the skills, I'm already envisioning a strategy in which you have her healing everybody uh, as a resurrect and then perhaps pair her with another resurrect type of hero or healer to help keep her alive so that they can just keep bouncing back and forth. And that's going to make a very difficult combo to stop. Just saying. All right, let's read the rest of the text. <laughs> Restores 15% of targets, max HP, and 22% um, and 22% her current HP to all allies. So this is combining, um, I know I stuttered through that phrase there, but this is combining her max HP and current HP as health to all allies. That's a lot of healing. And it is rare, if not like, I mean, this is, I mean, we haven't seen anything like this in Gemstone Legends before, to be quite honest, where we're healing everybody so much. And you're just incentivized to max out your HP stat. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so like antsy. I just want to get to the summoning. I haven't even read the rest of the text yet. <laughs> Grants increased resistance to all allies for four turns. So this is helping to keep the whole team alive by healing them. This is helping to give them all resistance so they're not taking so much uh, as far as like status damage or even just control effects uh, in, in a match. And if they do happen to die, she's bringing them back. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a great one. This, I Okay, maybe I'm too excited and I haven't even read the passive yet, but this could potentially be the best hero in the game right now. I'm stunned. Okay, passive. Sisterly love. Upon death, she applies invincible status for four turns on the ally with the highest attack and then on the ally with the lowest current HP. Her speed increases... By 8 for every dead ally. Mana gain decreased by 60%. So that mana gain decreased by 60%, of course, is what goes on all the Stellar Dynasty heroes. So not only is her active skill helping to keep the team alive through healing and then resurrecting them when they actually die and protecting them from status damage in the first place or just control effects through resistance, you've got invincibility on the passive before you even get to the active uh, which is quite incredible. And it's it's going on perhaps your best offensive weapon with the highest attack and uh, the uh, champ that's the closest to death too with the lower current HP. Um, this, is, this is unbelievable. This is an unbelievable hero. I am glad I have at least a few 
uh, Astro Scrolls for this one. So I'm going to jump in now because I can't spend them fast enough. And I know some people are going to point this out. I don't have a hero on my wish list right now, but that's because um, I feel like I just have to explain this. I, f I feel like I have all the heroes I really want right now. So I'm, I'm willing to go with random ones so I can spend my gems on other stuff. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's summon for this one because she's going to fit on any team. I suppose I should have analyzed that before I got too excited and jumped in here, but she can fit on any team, offense, defense. She's going to be great in every aspect of this game, whether you're just trying to fight in the arena or it's Guild Wars or any kind of event. I mean, she is incredible. The only place she's not going to be good is if there's like some kind of special rule that healing doesn't work. <laughs> but anyway, okay, here we go. Let's summon. Let's summon. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I thought I saw some yellow sneaking in there and that always gets me excited, but we got Stella. Stella's fantastic, by the way, but I'm going to keep going. She's an epic hero. I would really love this Gemini. You see that little yellow in the middle? It's just always tricking me. <laughs> Odium. Odium's not one I had yet, so... Nice to get a new one. Okay. And one more. Cross my fingers. No! <laughs> Cetus, which is fine. I just got all epic heroes and I did not get Gemini, who I think is the best hero in the game right now. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, that's all for me. Good luck to you guys. If you get her, please let me know in the comments. And I want to know how she's doing. So level her up quick. Let me know how she's testing and doing. I am afraid now that I don't have her about facing her in every aspect of this game going forward. Oh, I might have to find a way to scrape up some stellar dynasty astral scrolls. So here we go. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I will catch you in the next one.